In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a name puzzle for each of your students. So the first thing you do is you click in the text box and you change the word name to your student's name. So you type in their name. And as you can see, I have it spaced, the letters spaced apart so that you can cut in between each letter and make a strip puzzle. If, however, you would like them spaced apart even wider to make the strips larger, all you do is you select the text box and you just um, click on any of the outside lines here to select the box. Then you go up under the font and it's right here. It's called character spacing and you click on it and you go to more spacing and as you can see I have it expanded by 25. You can change this number to whatever you would like. Let's say you want to go to 35 so you just type that in and click enter and you can see that the letters spaced apart even further. So once you get that to where you like it now it's time you to insert the student's photo. So you go up to insert pictures, this device, and you go to wherever on your computer that you have the student's pictures stored. And you select the picture. Now once the picture is inserted, if you would like, you can crop it. I'm just going to crop, crop it just a tad on the sides. So you can go up to crop and you see the, the black cropping handles. You can use them to crop the picture. I'm just going to crop it just in just a little bit more to just focus on her and click off of it. Then what you do is you resize the picture to fit across the name. Oops, sorry. So you just kind of center it right above the name. And then that is it. So you print them out. So to print just this page, you can go to File, Print, and you do not want to print all slides. <laughs> so um, you pull down here and you can say Print Current Slide. So it's only going to print this slide. Or I'll show you another way to do it if you want to do all your students at once and then uh, print them all together. So what you would do if you want to do it that way, you highlight the slide over here on the left and you go up to new slide. It's right here. It's under the home. Go to new slide. And you want to say duplicate selected slides. And you see how it made another one just like the one we were on? So you can do that for each student. So all you would have to do would be to change the name and then click on the picture. And if you go up to format, change picture from file, you can just pick another picture on your computer a different child and click insert and it'll change it. Um, I'm not really sure. Let's see here. And then it just changes it to the next student's picture. And then you can keep doing that so you would just repeat that. So it would be new slide duplicate selected, 
type the new name, format, change picture from file, and change the picture. And you can do that for each student. So let's say then you just want to print those slides. So you would have to look at the slide numbers. In this case, it's slides 10 through 12 that I would like to print. Now you can either select them all by clicking on the first one and going shift and then clicking the next one and then they would all be selected. And you can go to file print, <clears throat> excuse me, and it would say print selection, only print the selected slides. And that would be what you would wanna do. You don't wanna print all the slides in the PowerPoint. So you would only print the selected slides, or if you just want to put the numbers in, you would you could just put you know slides 10 through 12. And then once they are printed, you just cut down along the picture. You can trim off this excess along the side. And then you cut in between each letter to make a strip puzzle. So they need to build their name to see their picture. It's a really cute um, thing to put on their desk at the beginning of school. Like you didn't just, I usually just put the strips in a baggie on each student's desk. And it's kind of like a fun surprise and they, you know, have to build their name and then they realize, oh, you know, they're building their picture. It's really cute. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.